Hey guys, I'm gonna try and vlog today. I am so sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. I've got a bad cold, I feel gross, I've got sniffles. I'm actually wearing my retainers. That's why I've got like a bit of a, like a lisp. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna vlog today because I got back from being away the other day and I've ridden once since because I've just felt so awful. But I'm gonna go ride today. I'm gonna do a full day at the yard. Um, I know how much you love a day at the yard and I'll show some training and stuff. So yeah, this is gonna be very informal vlog style and I'm gonna look horrific. Um, but I hope you guys like Okay, I put some makeup on. I feel vastly more human. And I've got changed. This is what I'm wearing. Fit off the day is caramel. And um, I'm gonna head home now and ride. I need to grab my little doggy. Let me find her for you. Ignore my apartment, it's really messy. Dolly, come here. Oh, hello. Where is she gone? Hi, hi. Did I not give you attention for two seconds? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She is, hi. She's a bit of a brat, but oh, oh. <laughs> wouldn't have her any other way. Right, I'm gonna head home. To get ready with me, carnage. Also, that's my washing, ignore that. This is my little baby. Hello, princess. Hi, Miss Dolly, hi. Hello. Oh, hello, sunshine. So handsome. Look at you. I've been standing around chatting, so I'm just gonna get ready to cut it on. Okay, here starts the voiceover because when I was editing this footage, I realized that there was either the leaf blower on in the background, the weather, like I think it was raining, and I was just talking crap the entire session. I need to get back into the habit of putting my microphones on and actually talking to you guys while I go, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta fit it in and I thought vlogging would be better with a voiceover than not at all. I find YouTube at the moment really difficult because I find a lot of what I do in a day pretty boring, but then I know some of you guys don't find it boring and you want to see it. So in the comments, let me know what you would like to see more of, please, because I don't want to be plugging out content that nobody enjoys. And what if people don't enjoy the content I enjoy making? I, I don't know. I don't know. So let me know, please. Um, Today, anyway, it was just a session with Sunny. I probably said that at the start of this. Um, I realised as I was sorting my stirrups out that they were not mine. So I, I think this was one of the first times I'd ridden since I got back from my holiday in Arizona. And I was very lucky that people were working them for me. I say working loosely. They were taking the boys on some hacks and some lunges and stuff like that. So we hadn't been properly ridden, like dressage ridden. Uh, for a few weeks. So after watching watching this footage, I think we looked really rusty. Um, Sunny looked good. He just felt really tight. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, going, I'm jumping the gun. Jumping the gun's the word I was trying to use. Also, they are the new caramel hybrids from Black Heart Equestrian. As you know, I always start off in stretch. I found it really hard to stretch Sunny on this day. He kept coffin he was very tight and very light in his contact which meant it was very hard to get him through and push him forward but that's what it's for you know you're not meant to start a session absolutely perfect and it's a warm-up for us both he is not overbent I promise you guys it is just stretch and if you think he's overbent that's fine don't need to comment and then he tripped always fun like I absolutely hate when the horse trips it reminds me of that dream you know when you think you're falling and yeah, it just freaks me out. Like I've just seen my life flash before my eyes. Um, but I stretch both sides. I think it's very important to repeat whatever work you do on one side on the other, because you don't want your horse to become dominant on one side. Uh, Sunny was frisky today, a little spicy boy, as you can see. And that was over nothing, literally nothing. He just went round and he was like, Wee and then I thought he was going to stop. And then he did it again. And I was just like, Sunny, dude, come on. But then he felt quite good actually, because I think spice equals a little bit of energy. So we were doing some, some nice trot. Look at the lift he had. What you will notice is I look like a sack of potatoes. I am bouncing all over the show. I think I just lost my core strength when I was away. It happens and I've been eating a little too much. 
I love my food. Um, so I was not feeling as sturdy in the saddle. And I think after two weeks off, it is like riding a bike. You can get back into it, but your finesse suffers a little bit. I will say that. And then the sitting trot was killing me off. So I just kept going into rising. Um, absolutely embarrassing at this point. I'm just, I need to get back fit. And then I threw in a circle and itched my nose. I'm trying to leave more footage into these vlogs, a little bit more raw, a little bit less edited so you guys get to see bits, but it does come with the problem that when I typically leave footage in and keep keep it more real, I then get hordes of abuse from your internet trainers, people that don't ride, people that can look at a few seconds and make a judgment. And it is frustrating because in training, it never looks as good as a competition. And I can guarantee every single top international horse rider will sometimes look a bit crappy in training. And that's why we call it a competition outline because you're working up to that. Like these are some leg yields that look awful, but he needed them. He was feeling super tight, super stiff. And, you know, I think Sonny's getting on a bit now. I can't remember. I need to double check his passport, but I think he's around 15 or 16. I know that's not old, but it's, he's getting on. He's getting on and it's so bad I need to check the passports, honestly. We threw some twos in. Sonny is so good at twos and we love doing them and it gets him a bit fresher and a bit more raring to go. So that felt good. But then I decided to do some gallop. I remember when I was at the European squad training years and years ago, one of the instructors told me with Sonny, he's to, you've got to get him out of his shell kind of thing. So get off his back and go for a gallop. And it always has always helped him. And this felt so much faster than it looked. Like I thought I was zooming a million miles an hour about to win the Grand National. On reflection, it looks kind of slow, but he loved it. Like he just gets, he just gets zooming and you can see his little head. He's like, well, hey. Um, but that led to doing some quite good Piaf Passage because he loosened up and I mean, it's training Piaf Passage. I feel like I've got to watch what I say on here because if I say it's Piaf Passage, someone will be like, no, it's not. That's not technically this. Um, whatever. Take whatever I say with a pinch of salt and remember it's training. And remember I'm sharing this for fun. Like I'm sharing this because some people want to see it, not because I need training advice or I'm asking for anything like that. Um, I use, I receive training advice from my trainer. <laughs> But yeah, Sonny felt pretty good towards the end of this. Um, it was not our best session. I felt really unfit, full of cold. Sonny felt quite tight. And he is a horse that prefers not being ridden. Like if I just chucked him out in the field and left him, he'd be a happy, happy boy. Like every time I get on, he's like, oh, really? Really? So I do try and vary things with him to keep his brain fresh. As always, finish the session with a stretch. Uh, I did a lot more, but we didn't film it all because my poor mum was trying to multitask and she was trying to film on my phone and my camera. And you should have seen her. She was like juggling it like, oh my gosh. So this is the best we could do. Um, if you do like training videos and you feel like you're not gonna have a go at me, let me know and I'll do some more. Um, obviously I'm not a trainer. This is just my ride, my experience. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't, have, yeah, you know, that whole shebang. I think I'm going to work on my sitting trot though. That's something I've been needing to work on for like three years and I just hate it. I really don't enjoy sitting trot, so yeah. And then I untack. I find it really hard not to give a running commentary of just what I'm doing. Like obviously I'm untacking here. Sonny is one of them funny horses though. He knows he's getting his bridle off, but as you can see, he is chomping and chomping and chomping. And he just, he knows he's gonna get it off. He's doing it just to be annoying. Um, and he only does it at the end of a session. He only just chomps when I'm trying to take his bridle off and when I'm finishing. But it's kind of like when I put his bridle on, how he loves to stick his head in the air and resist, even though he knows, he knows it's gonna go on and then he knows it'll only be on for a bit, so. Yeah. Forgot to do an outro at the stables because Ebby turned up and let all the dogs wild, including my puppy who runs sorry. off every time she gets outside. Um, and it just got a bit chaotic for a few minutes. So yeah, sorry, forgot to say that. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this is... Ebby, do you mind? Sorry, I'm <laughs> my Greg's. <laughs> She's having a sausage roll. Um, 
I'm probably gonna voice over this. Don't know what kind of footage there is. Sunny felt horrible and I'm ill, so I hope it's all right. And don't bully me because I don't care. <laughs> don't bully me because I don't. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.